I just took my husband to the doctor. Um, I went on a walk this morning with my mom and I got home and he was sitting on the front porch and he's like, I think you need to take me to the doctor. So I'm like, okay, great. Let's go. So last night and the night before last, he has just been up with severe stomach problems, bloating, diarrhea. He vomited as well. Sorry, that's a lot of information. So we went to the doctor and of course, nothing. We didn't learn anything, but it was important because I wanted, like he wanted to make sure, we both wanted to make sure that it wasn't like appendicitis or gallbladder, you know, like something really bad. We didn't know what it was going to be. So basically the doctor said, oh, I don't know what's wrong with you. And then he proceeded to say, but I have lots of medications you can take. So he gave us a whole list and we can call back in case we want any of his prescriptions. And I said, okay, thank you very much. And we left. So it was like an hour long process and we learned nothing. And I was just getting frustrated. But um, on the way to the hospital, I was just praying like, God, let this be for your testimony and let this, you know, let fruit come out of this. So this is the fruit. I am deciding to start this YouTube channel on my journey with the GAPS diet. So let me rewind a little bit. About two years ago, Aaron and I decided to adopt two little ones, Ben and Ava. Ben now is five and Ava is six. When we adopted them, that was about a year ago. They were four and five. So um, Ben has a diagnosis diagnosis of autism. Um, we adopted them through the foster care system. So we actually, before they even moved into our house, we had six months to prepare. So Isabel was six months at the time that we had decided to adopt them. So I just spent that whole six months just diving in like, okay, autism, what is it? How are we going to fix this? Cause I'm a fixer, you know, what are, what are the changes going to, that we're going to make? So we dove into the gluten-free casein-free diet and we've been doing that for a little bit and we've been cheating badly this last year, but for like six months to a year, we are doing really, really well with it. Um, but guys, I stumbled across the GATS diet and I knew like, wow, this, this would, this would be good. This would be good for us. But if anybody's familiar with the GATS diet, like it is a lot of work. There is a lot of diet restrictions. You have to hand make everything. So I was like, well, I don't know if I can take on adoption adopting two kids and, you know, being a first time mom with Isabel and the GAPS diet. But guys, I'm here to tell you that I have survived adoption and survived being a first time mother at the same time. And, um, it's about a year and a half later and I'm ready to dive into this GAPS diet. I'm so excited. And I know that the GAPS diet would be amazing for my son, Benjamin. And I know Ava who has a little bit of hyperactivity, ADHD. I know the GAPS diet would be amazing for that. And for me, I'm a little crazy. I just, you know, like I eat things and then I get crazy. I know the GAPS diet would be good for me. And Isabel, you know, she had a lot of antibiotics when she was younger. I know the GAPS diet would be great for her. So we're just going to do this and it's going to be hard and it's going to be messy. But I want to record this with you guys so that you can take the journey with me for two reasons. One, because then hopefully some other brave mama will get the motivation to do it for her and her family. And two... So that I'll, I'll do, so that'll hold me accountable. So today is July 11th, I believe. July 11th, we're in the middle of summer. Um, I've read the GAPS book, pieces of it. Um, so I need to get that book back from my mother-in-law, read it again, make some recipes, get our sources of like eggs and bone broth or bones, learn how to make bone broth. So I am actually thinking about starting this diet in the middle of August next month. Also, I did decide, um, Aaron and I decided that we're homeschooling Ben and Ava next year. So I'm so excited. So we don't have to worry about like school lunches or packing GAPS diet food for them at school. We're just going to kind of take August, September, October, November, maybe even December and just get healthy. So here I am. My name's Gabrielle, by the way. Um, I am starting two journeys in August. One is the GAPS diet with my whole family. There's five of us. There's me, Aaron, Ben, Ava, and Isabel. So three little ones. I'm a new mom. I've only been a mom for three years with Isabel, and then we adopted. And then my second new journey is I'm going to be starting homeschooling, and I'm so excited just to bring my kids home, to be home with them. They were, I was just sending them to school, and I never felt like I saw them. So um, 
So I just wanted to record this on July 11th when I made this decision to walk with YouTube community and just share this out in the public and made this decision to just do this with my family. You know, when I see Aaron in pain for 48 hours because um, his stomach is in knots and he cannot, he hasn't slept for two days. He's finally taking a nap upstairs when there's no kids home. Um, I know I need to do something for my family. I just have to put in the work to, to make it better for Benjamin, to give him a better life. So he's going into kindergarten. This is going to be a fun time, but you know, I've got, let's see, he's going to be six. I've got 12 good years with him here that I can make a huge difference on his health, on his wellness, on his emotional health. And I'm 28 years old. No, I'm not. I'm 29 because I'm turning 30 in December. And guys, I have to do this now for my family. I have to, and for myself. So here's the beginning of the journey. I'm so excited. So thank you guys.